covered for you now, Odin. He's gonna give you kisses. <laughs> my kids. They just adore Walter. He's about three feet tall. They think that every other dog they see is a puppy because they are all smaller than Walter. When they go to leave the house, they say, oh, Walter's going to miss us. And they do everything together. Walter wants to be where the boys are and the boys want to be where Walter is. I've always grown up with dogs and I did a lot of research before we got Walter because I had a three-year-old and an almost one-year-old. What is it, Walter? And Walter was very timid. He was all legs, so he was very clumsy. <laughs> when we brought him back, we let him kind of go in the backyard to sniff and my son became completely obsessed with Walter. They've never been afraid of him. When the boys are away for whatever reason, he looks for them, he misses them. He gives them kisses every day before they leave for school and is greeting them at the door as soon as they walk in. And he's not skittish now. He knows that he's loved and that he is truly a family member. The boys definitely helped him open up. Sadie instantly loved Hal and she would always get next to him and she just constantly wanted to be grooming him. As he got bigger, his hands would brush against her. And after a while, he would really start kind of rubbing her. When Talon was born, I just laid her down next to him and she got even more affectionate. So when he first started crawling, she'd dig her nails in and get dragged along. I think she was trying to stop him from ever moving away from her. She doesn't really care about me anymore. She just follows Talon around everywhere. Lately, he likes to stack things on top of her. And she doesn't lie. I think he understands that. She's old and he has to be gentle with her. He doesn't know what it's like not to have her. Their relationship is very loving. And I overheard him talking to her yesterday. He said, Sadie, you're my best friend. She loves you, doesn't yeah. she? So the day we came home was in the hospital, so I was worried that food would jump all over me. So I made my husband carry Ella. I would just sit on the rocker and food would come up. <laughs> they just understood that he had to be gentle with Ella. After a couple of days, he put his nose on my lap right next to the baby. It had, like, felt like I had both of my babies on my lap. She was just fascinated by him. I could tell that when he came into the room, she would just immediately go to him. And she was just so excited by his presence. But when Goose was really young, we were just teaching him a bunch of tricks do things like put a treat on his nose and say, leave it. He wouldn't move a muscle until he took it off. Did it go work? Good boy! <laughs> when I showed the video to Ella, she wanted to watch it probably 10 or 15 times. And she was just laughing and laughing and laughing. And she wanted to try that. Yay, Ella! who loves Ella. He's been really good about her. So um, I think that's it just kind of is a match made in heaven in that way. Vera's very attached to Strawberry. Strawberry is beautiful. That's she likes to read her books. That's a flock. She loves to tuck Strawberry in and give her kisses goodnight. 
she spends a lot of time telling Strawberry that her spikes are very beautiful. Vera also really enjoys feeding her bugs. Get one. Get one. Vera had been very interested in snakes, dinosaurs, lizards, all of the different reptiles. So she definitely loved her at first sight. We put her on her hands. I'm always very close, just to be safe. And it was wonderful. She's really soft. She'll run into Vera's lap. She's on my shoulder. She'll climb up on her. Absolutely adorable. And she'll look interested in the book that Vera wants to read. Now, Strawberry, if she feels she's being ignored, she'll actually come to the cage and scratch for attention. Strawberry has definitely helped teach Vera responsibility and empathy. She's three and a half, so she's not a very old bearded dragon mother, but she's a very responsible okay. child with her animals. Who are these wraps for, Vera? Strawberry. She takes very good care of her. They both seem to love each other a lot. And it's just really adorable to watch. He's holding my collie. I love her. It's time to watch more.